It was a moment nine months in the making. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. As Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams finally arrived home. In case you need catching up, let's rewind. The two NASA astronauts arrived at the International Space Station last June, originally booked for an eight-day stay. But the capsule they were sent to ride home in was deemed unsafe, so they were kind of stranded in space. Uh, I want to make it very clear that Butch and Sonny are not stranded in space. Ah, OK. Well, they were at least stuck there for a bit, long enough to see out the Paris Olympics, the US election. Uh, actually voted early a couple of weeks ago. And Christmas. In fact, they were up there for a total of 286 days, orbiting the Earth more than 4,500 times. That's 286 days without breathing fresh air or having a proper shower. But one more thing they had to get used to pretty quickly was how space would affect their bodies. There's an adaptation phase that happens right away when you get up to space. This is Dr Stephen Gilmore, the lead flight surgeon for the mission. He says when people go to space, the human body has to adjust to being in microgravity. That means there's hardly any gravity pulling them down, which makes them float around at a constant state of weightlessness. While it might look pretty fun, there are some not so fun side effects. The first thing that hits is... Basically a kind of motion sickness uh, in some people to adapt to this new environment that doesn't have gravity in it. You see, on Earth, you always know which way is up or down. But in space, there's no clear sense of direction and the human brain gets pretty confused, leaving astronauts feeling dizzy or sick. But after a few days, they start to adjust to their new environment and start to feel a lot better. Then there's bone and muscle loss. Without that downward pull we're used to, our muscles get weaker because they don't have to work as hard. Whew. And our weight-bearing bones, like our spine and hips, lose density because they don't have to support our bodies as much. Those all start decreasing if you don't do anything to, to counteract it. That's why there's a high-tech gym on the International Space Station where astronauts work out at least two hours a day, six days a week, to keep their bones and muscles healthy and strong. We kind of view exercise as a great big pill that we have the crew take. There are heaps of other weird and wacky things that our bodies have to deal with in microgravity, like facial puffiness, having a weakened immune system, and even vision changes. But there is one pretty cool thing that happens, all to do with our height. Believe it or not, space can actually make you taller. Without gravity pushing your spine down, every vertebrae has a chance to move up. So astronauts can actually grow a few centimetres while they're up there, but they do shrink back down when they come home. Speaking of coming home, that's another big adjustment. You might have noticed Butch and Sonny were helped out of their spacecraft and wheeled away on stretches. That's because their bodies have to get used to gravity again, and it'll take some time for them to regain their balance and strength. They kind of have to do the same thing, but in reverse. In fact, they're in for weeks of planned medical tests, studies and reconditioning, and she'll be back to their normal Earth selves within the next few months. 